code snippet. Now let's build together our first custom code snippet. First for loop type in range, it starts with four. Then the counter variable, which will play the pointer role that stops at each number in the range of numbers. And finally, our code that we want to execute at every count. Allow me to explain to you first, what does it mean a snippet? Code snippet is a term used to describe a small portion of reusable code source. Code snippets allow a programmer to avoid typing repetitive code during the course of routine programming. So instead of rewriting the same code over and over again, a programmer can save the code as a snippet and simply drag and drop the snippet wherever it is needed. So what's the difference between snippet and function? You may get confused now and wonder if snippet applies the same concept of reusable and portion of code. So this should be a function, but actually snippet does something different than functions. And I will explain the reason to you in a couple minutes why snippet has different usage and capabilities than a function. Let me first simplify the snippet concept. All of us love pizza. If you help your mom doing some pizzas at home in the beginning, you must get all the components. Then mixing them together to make the bread dough. Wait till it's fermented and spreading the dough to finally make the pizza base. Those typical steps must be done every single time you make a pizza. It doesn't matter what kind of pizza you're doing. Now, what if the pizza base is pre-baked for you? So instead of doing the same steps every time to make your pizza at home, you can have a ready-made pizza base or what is called pizza crust. With this, we will save all of those steps and we will go directly to the step of adding the topping on the crust. Likewise, snippets are used to paste immediate typical code lines that are ready for your implementations. Snippet plays the role of the ready-made pizza base to, to you, just performing some tweaks in there and which are equivalent to adding toppings to your pizza base. And voila, you have a complete portion of code. Still not clear to you? Not a problem. We will have many examples in a minute on how to use code snippets.